This next tall drink of water I've known for a number of years. And it's always a pleasure to experience his person, let alone his presence and his verbal gifts. It gives me greater pleasure. Gordon, would you bring us some fun? My pleasure. Thank you all for your sharings and readings. And, um, and thank you, Frank, for reminding of Donald. And this first, um, this is about a movie. He used to, Donald used to write poems about movies. I loved his stuff about that. And, uh, so this one is about Patterson, Patterson, New Jersey. Adam Diver is a bus driver. And, so I wrote the poem watching the movie called Patterson. I'm watching Patterson about Patterson, the presence of Patterson. He likes his blue tip matches from Ohio. He loves Ohio blue tipped diamond matches. He liked before, but he sits and describes the most beautiful match, the world to light the cigarette of the most beautiful girl. A match to blaze and smolder towards heaven, fought on page. He listens and writes like a cheerleader with a megaphone to cheer on the crowd that sits in all our heads, height, width, depth, time. She inspires as a living muse to practical working man, a driver of people and listener of their themes and would-be dreams. Another one he keeps learning another one. It's a poem for you. The megaphone shaped to welcome his wife, his love. Then call me Paul Lawrence Dunbar. He wears the March Paradox straight shot human ball and chain, listening to a rapper in a laundromat. Paul Lawrence Dunbar. It's a glow, contemplating. It's morality, comparison, implosion. No, since you asked. His particular burden, articulated. Waterfalls like an Emily Dickinson poem, mirrored pools and dirty clouds and buildings, fills her hair in the air of a young girl's shoulders. He likes waterfalls, perfected the sonnet, the secret book. Hair and dirty mirrors of clouds and buildings, William Carlos Williams. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know. Third base, Lou Costello. The rain makes the way for him. Molecules moisten the air, moves the windshield, wiper moves and sweeps. You don't want to know. He listens, though. Thinks pumpkin. Thinks of his pumpkin. He thinks about other women at times. But he would tear his heart out if she ever left him. He wishes his notebook did not get chewed. What to say? You okay? You look a little... Like they said, sun still rises every morning, sets every evening, always another day so far. Very poetic. Being a bus driver is poetic. I believe in poetry. Poetry in translation is like taking a shower in a raincoat. Hope this isn't inappropriate. Aha! I see what you mean. Carlos was a doctor. The line his grandfather sang, asking a question in a song, would you prefer to be a mule, a pig, or a fish? In his head, he hears the fish one on the line, as if the rest of the song did not need to be there. Excuse me. Sometimes the empty page presents more possibilities. Uh, and that's Patterson, folks. Mm. It's good to see the paintings around this place. I want to share something that um, had printed a while back. Uh, and um, this is... I worked a week in 
as a sandcaster when Telex was still around. And I had to make a transition from, from school into the workplace and then find another way of expression. So, and when I was in school, I was a sculptor. Then I had to learn how to write. So this is called Walk Up Print. I am reminded, crackling, hiss, flickering, orange, yellow, shallow blue flames, licking, broken, lifeless, bone, pale, pine branches, devoid, skeleton limbs kindled. Forging heat arises, wood snapped, constructed upwards, singed, nearly burnt, charcoal the smell. I remember the molten eye beam steel, leather tunic and gloves smoldering, blazing heat, the torch cuts, white, yellow, then red, almost liquid flares, sparks, fragments, meteorites, like comets, the charred spots, white smoke, burnt flesh. Did they stand skyscrapers and landscapes, iron workers molding man's triumphs to the stars? Does it reside deeper in time's ancestry? Forging Romans, forges Romans who learned from the Greeks, mind's imagination or a celestial divine inspiration? What say you, this night scoured, my friend, Orion? Ah, uh, this is for. Um, it's a little bit tweaked poem, but with uh, the, 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 uh, the agency I work for, the Human Service Field, with this coronavirus hysteria, um, this is about that. And it's called The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I'm a lightning rod to weirdness. If trees could talk, and they do, they could tell you all about schoolhouse earth. Especially about those egos, goes, goes, going around and around, that Mario go, go, go round the petrol recess and no real rest. Stress, pester, fester, slash, crash, and burn. Earn vacation, lifetime blip. Can't wait till the next flip, flip, trip. Make matching fashion, cookie board, chop, saw, chew, latchkey, McKitties. That tender vitties to formless substance host ghosts, parental counterfeits insisted on schedule rituals, soccer sponsor, dancer, prancer, career material gatherers. Although, providing the object distractor factors to obsession, pension, detention, hook them while they're young. Make them and then break them and do it all over again. This ain't no party, this ain't no disco, this ain't no fooling around, this ain't no you've entered the twilight zone either. Because sometimes you feel like a nut, and sometimes you know you don't. Hell no! Soy and green is made of people. I swear on the Holy Bible to tell the truth, the whole truth, so help me from these cold, dead, coronavirus dead hands. <laughs> Now, something, something about acceptance and belief. And it's called Make Coffee and Stick Around. Yeah. You're speaking to Robert, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked fluid flower, a Danish truffle dainty, to a taste that clears the slate to try another perspective. Tear, salted, rust encrusted cage that splinters and flakes off, polishing, and when remembered to feed the bird perched within, the song begins anew, and its wings beat once more. So storm the king, that domain within that is always under siege from the external. Turn the shield to yield bounty of fruit to nourish. For the material gauntlet, a juggernaut in mast, encrusted rust iron armor that weaves veils to diffuse, project, deceive, manipulate, Macbeth's three witches, entitlement, entanglement, expectation, 
Plead for the mercy to endure the illusionments. Plead for the courage and belief that hope to seek one of the principal truths. The body dies, the soul continues on. I've been doing, or workshop. This is based from a prompt from Louis Borges. Sunset is always disturbing. And I believe it's more of an ode to the next two poems, or three, that, well, two, and then I'll end with a third. Um, I think go out to my mother. As I look around this gallery, I am just remembered or reminded of my first taste of the arts, and that was with my mother, who was passed. So, with that, sunset is always disturbing, and the clouds cross over to block sun's light to warm the inside out. That right side up, that place in the mind, heart, memory of when I was young, and the world held its breath for those still shot postcard moments of blue cobalt sky, pure yellow and golden fire star warming my skin, alighting the pine emerald green of grass, trees, rainbow flower and the buzz hum buzz, yellow and black flying zebras, holding mother's hand in the wonder of the setting painting of the Pegasus in the sky galleons and the streaking Jacob's Ladder and more spectrum color rainbows, this time the darker shades. Then time marches on and life has its lessons and opportunities and losses. I remember these times and those moments alone and your hand is a memory fading as the sun sets in its ways, just as your ashes settled. Here, here. And if you make your way on um, third Thursday at the Leap and Lobe, there's um, a poetry series there. And this, um, I'm the apple of that whole museum, I believe, at least for me, is a painting by Charles Courtney Coran. And, um, Oh, it's like Shakespeare meets Tolkien and Norman Rockwell. <laughs> um, it's, this is, it's called The Shadow Decoration. And it's a woman hanging linen. Just amazing. Shadow Decoration. <clears throat> the Grace of Lady Liberty. Homage and care given to that harbor to welcome your poor. You're hungry and you're tired. She speaks of that Gilded Age impression, warmth of burnt umber, pearl radiance, light and shadows. Captured too is the rising sun impression, the balance of zen, reflected and projected blues, gray magenta. I recall the memories of my first spring, the scent of flowers, trees, the fragrance of drying linen as we played pirates between the sails as they massed between her silhouette and portraits painted by the sunshine, cloudless day, cobalt sky. Her warmth and care hanging ornaments of a different kind of Christmas. And I'll do one more. And it's an American <coughs> adaptation to haiku. And traditionally, the Japanese I've learned tonight that it's an element of nature. But this is a nature, mine is a nature of a person. And this I dedicate to Jeff Bridges, who played in the Big Lebowski, the dude. The dude. White Russian bowler, 
the room tied rug together. Lebowski abides. <laughs> you gotta read it twice. It's tradition. I couldn't. White Russian bowler. The rug tied room together. Lebowski abides. <laughs> Thank you.